Wait. Tough a shot, Moss. All right, here we are for our next weigh-in. And here's Carolyn. She's our first contender this week. No, no, no. All right, let's see if Carolyn has gained weight or lost weight. Let's take a look at them here. Let's make a trip down to the scale. <laughs> I like the scale. Uh-oh. One, oh, 186.7. Oh, Gain two pounds. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, we did. I guess we ate some different lunches and stuff this week. Mm -hmm. So we had like more sandwichy kind of stuff. Yep. Instead of leftovers the previous week, and we sort of had a fourth meal on Saturday. Hmm. Because we had this really extremely small lunch or dinner that was provided to us. And it was not filling at all. Nope. And then we went and got pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Salt, that, that could have contributed. Yeah. So we'll see what happens next week. And now it's my turn. Sean's turn. I shall wait. Once your weight goes away. Oh. Yeah, what's up with that? I think it gives you time because it's a the like, cool scale that has like this little code oh, on yeah. it and then you take a picture with your phone and yep. it like locks it into the system. We should be doing that, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's do my way in now. Hello, it says hello. Hello. Here we go. And how much does Shawnee weigh today? Me. <laughs> 326.5. That's exactly the same. It's last time. Last week. <laughs> Although I stepped on here wearing the exact same thing about two minutes ago, and it was 0.2 pounds less than that. So <laughs> these things are kind of random. Yeah, it's kind of the angle that you stand on it, so you have to stand like perfectly, like balanced, like on the Wii, and it tells you that you're like over too far on one side or the other side. But um, it seems like scales change their thingy wobbers. <clears throat> their amounts just because of the way that you're standing. So if you're standing more forward or backwards or whatever, it changes. Yep, kind of weird. So I think that uh, weight, your weight can fluctuate. And sometimes you could have a good week and you could work out really hard and eat really good and have a bad week. So we're just gonna keep doing this. And if it continues on for too many weeks that we're not gonna be losing any weight, then we'll see that it's not gonna work. We'll have to change it up a little bit. So, we will eat a little healthier this week and we'll make sure not to have four meals on a uh, Friday night. <laughs> For sure! So, yes, that was another weigh in for us. Now, I will say this for you for anyone who is uh, inspired by watching weight loss videos and you see that one video where the person didn't lose anything, like this one or where they've even gained weight, you'll notice in pretty much any diet that you ever do that you will have weeks where you will plateau or where you will gain weight, even though you worked really hard. Now we did, we did slack a little bit. So that's probably somewhere where we, we messed up, you know, and that the biggest thing about that is you can fail millions of times in something that you do and what the most important thing is is that you get back up and you you just continue on because if you fail once and then you give up you're the real loser right because you just you lost you really did lose you gave up you ended it that was it so we're, we're trying this thing out and if this doesn't work for us we'll we'll change it up a little bit but i think what we're gonna have to do <clears throat> is as we go, we're going to have to add a little bit more challenge to it. <clears throat> so what we need to do is do some exercising. Uh, maybe we'll go for a little walk. Excuse me, what did I yawn? Dude, this totally exciting video. Did you yawn now? You yawned now, didn't you? <laughs> it's contagious. Don't you wish weight loss could just be contagious? You just watch someone losing weight and then you lose weight. 
No, seriously, it's it's going to take some work, and it's not going to just be easy. Like, I'd like it to be easy, but it's not going to be. So I have to dedicate to it. I have to say, I'm going to do this. And, you know, I've dedicated myself to eating healthy during the week and then doing what I want on the weekends. And if I mess up during the week, I need to either change it up and sacrifice something on the weekend when I feel like I should be doing good. I should say, nope, I messed up this week. I don't get anything this weekend. Or I should, um, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a good thing right there. Just make the punishment that I don't get to do anything that weekend. Uh, or just say, you know what, hey, I'm not doing this that hard. <laughs> I'm just going to try better next week. Um, you know, you can, you can make your own rules for this. And you need to gauge what's working and what's not working. So I think that this has been working so far. But we do need to kick up our exercise a little bit. And we need to stick to the plan. So... That's what we're going to do this week. Work on sticking to the plan. And um, we're going to go going out and go and maybe start off light. Do some walking. Some light walking. Some um, easy going exercise. Uh, and then we'll kind of kick it up a little bit. Maybe start doing some, some power walking. And then maybe we'll start doing some jogging if we're kind of filling up to it. Um, and then start running again. Maybe we'll start hitting the bikes. Um, I'd love to get some more different uh, things to do exercise on. Like uh, some roller blades. Um, I wish we lived even closer to ski parks, but the ski park that we are close to is closed right now, so we can't do, go do some skiing. That's great exercise because you go up there for like the whole day and you sweat and you work it, you know, and so that would be fun. But that's the deal. So uh, we're going to go walking, all righty, and we're going to keep eating healthy. Um, I mean, I'm talking, we have oatmeal for breakfast and cold cereal. With our cold cereal, we make sure we get healthy cereals like... Special K or like um, shredded wheat, you know, and you gotta be careful because you know you get that little extra bit of sugar on there and you think it's okay, but uh, you gotta be careful. So the shredded wheat, I like to get plain shredded wheat, but sometimes I like the frosted stuff. Um, but we don't have shredded wheat right now. We have Special K. We have just a plain like a vanilla and nut uh, Special K, and we've got. I don't remember what the other cereal was that we got. It was a, it was a healthy cereal. It was this one of those special like grain. Oh, you know what? It was grape nut flakes. I'd never seen grape nut flakes before, so we bought that. So I haven't tried it yet. This morning I had oatmeal with almond milk. So we're eating healthier. Um, lunch I had a really light sandwich, um, and I'm trying to push more for doing salads because I really enjoy eating salad. You know, you put a good salad together, and it's like, mm. so it's all good. Anyway, uh, that's our stuff. <laughs> I keep talking and talking and making these videos so long. Um, if you guys think I talk too much, let me know in the comments below. Keep it short. Or you can just stop watching at any point. <laughs> but um, I'm going to put up a little uh, end slate thing here. And you can feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you're a little bit lost, you can watch the previous video. You can just go to the channel if you don't know how to do that. I'm sorry. Um, but you can go to the channel and start at the beginning or whatever. So here you go. Bye-bye. Ha! <laughs>